Donald Trump clearly isolating himself in the Republican Party from the Republican Party, uh, not getting much support outside or inside the party at this point. And then we hear over the weekend a Bush right. coming <laughs> out to support him. And everyone said, what? So Very let's go surprising. to what he said. We're talking about George P. Bush. Listen to this. And you know, from King Bush, it's a better pill to swallow, but you know what? You get back up and you help the man that won and you make sure that we stop the Clinton. OK, so that is Jeb Bush's son, Jeb Bush, right. who Trump spent an inordinate, an inordinate amount of time uh, insulting throughout right. the campaign, calling him the, you know, low energy and, sure. and on and on and on. And here comes Jeb Bush's son saying, you know what, I'm going to put my uh, support behind Donald Trump. If I could have been the fly in the room when his dad heard about this. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I thought what would be interesting is to see if uh, Jeb, uh, I'm sorry, George P. Bush writes a column called Why My Dad Should Vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> That'll be interesting. But I also think this is interesting for two other reasons. As you know, there's been discussion about this younger Bush hitting the national political scene right. for a while. And so I'm wondering if this is a desire to increase his relevancy as uh, the Bush family seems to be backing away from the public eye. Also, it's important to remember that the younger Bush is Hispanic. Mm -hmm. And this is a community that Donald Trump is having a difficult time winning the support of. So we'll be, it'll be interesting to see if more Hispanic Republican leaders establishment and not get on board uh, the Trump train via the Bush car, I guess.